Today I'm going to introduce you to 20 of the most common butterflies you'll find in southern Wisconsin. Though many of them have a much larger range throughout the state, region, or North America. The Southern Wisconsin Butterfly Association, the Badger States chapter of the North American Butterfly Association, presents this video and others to promote butterflying, a satisfying endeavor that can help us learn to enjoy the beauty of the Lepidopteran world. Learning butterflies takes time. In this video, you'll be introduced to common representatives of various groups of butterflies. Each of these species is a gateway insect to a complex and evolving world of butterflies. If you learn to spot a great spangled fritillary, for example, you'll be prepared to venture out and find a rarity like the Freya fritillary, grasping the telltale pattern of fritillaries in general. Like you first learned kitty when young and then ventured out to Norwegian forest cat years later, working from general to specific is a reasonable way to learn the butterflies. These 20 species are just a starting point. Other videos will go into greater detail in identifying the markings that distinguish what may look like similar species. Today we'll minimize that detail to help you get your foot in the door. If you already know a good amount, this video will help you remember some basics. Let's start out our list with a tough flyer that overwinters as an adult and is likely to be the first butterfly you'll see in late winter or spring, the morning cloak. Cloaks are one of the easier butterflies to identify as nobody else looks like them. Look for the milk chocolate brown center with a thin band of black with blue dots, then a cream colored fringe on the ends of all four wings, what we call the wing margins. The underside looks quite dark with the cream borders evident scallop shape which places the morning cloak in a group known as the tortoise shells. Another early butterfly also with a scalloping to the wings is the eastern comma, a representative of what some call our punctuation mark insects, noted for a silvery marking below that looks like a comma, but more helpfully called angle wings. Angle wings earn that name due to the sickle shape of the wing, visually quite different from the smoother shapes of other butterflies' wings. Commas, question marks, and tortoise shells all follow this wing pattern. A much smaller butterfly, one overlooked by many, the spring azure represents a group determined by their primary coloring, blue. Many blues have a remarkable iridescence notable on their upper sides. Unfortunately, these insects usually sit with wings folded, giving viewers a keen view of a less amazing underside, a gray-bluish field peppered with dark spots. Usually smaller than thumbnail, blues are a group that make close-focusing binoculars quite useful in learning and identifying this diverse group represented by our spring azure which has both a spring and a summer form. American ladies have big eyes is a common mnemonic used by butterflyers to learn the difference between the American lady and its sibling, the painted lady. This mid-sized butterfly can appear quite early and is common throughout the extended warm months. From below, ladies have a spiderweb patterned hind wing with what humans see as a round eye pattern prominent for our American lady. From above, look for predominant orange in a center with black wingtips with white dots and a line of blue circles at the trailing end of the hind wing. Also, this little white dot helps confirm an American lady if seen. Clouded sulfurs represent a group of yellow colored butterflies that are all far less common than the clouded sulfur which benefits from modern agricultural practices. Their host plants include the clovers found everywhere. From below, clouded sulfurs are almost completely dirty yellow, with a small white patch often trimmed with pink in the middle of the hind wing and a black dot on the forewing. From above, the yellow color is cleaner and black bars are evident near the wingtips. Many of the other sulfurs are southern species that occasionally wend their way to Wisconsin. Similarly, the cabbage white, an invasive species that has become ubiquitous in the 160-some years since it entered the United States, 
represents the white group of butterflies. The butterfly is white throughout with black dots on the front wing, allowing us to easily sex them. Females have two dots, males only one. Also the four wing tips have some charcoal shading. If you spend much time in a garden, you've likely come across our next butterfly, the silver spotted skipper, a speed demon that likes to zoom between the tallest plants in an area. The name skipper refers to an extensive group of butterflies of which the silver spotted is quite atypical. Most skippers are pretty small, but not this butterfly, the largest skipper by far in Wisconsin. In flight, silver spotted skippers show off the flash of their spots. Otherwise, look for a predominantly brown triangular butterfly sitting with wings folded and sporting a whitish patch center wing and a caramel orange patch above. That takes us to some of the larger charismatic butterflies, the swallowtails, and we're going to look at three. In the southern half of Wisconsin, the eastern tiger swallowtail is a common visitor, flying gracefully higher and gliding on air currents with its yellow wings with tiger striping and a trailing band of black. Some tasty blue and orange spots can be observed near the end of the abdomen, just before the two tails trail. Those are stabilizers for safer flight. A similar beast, the Canadian Swallowtail, haunts the northern parts of the state, and experience and skills will help a trained observer tell the difference. Notice also that this insect's body has similar black and yellow striping. If you replace much of the eastern tiger swallowtail's coloration with black, you approximate the appearance of the black swallowtail. This close relative has yellow spots in its black body and some yellow bands on the black background. The third species, the giant swallowtail, is Wisconsin's largest butterfly and is likely only to be seen in the southernmost counties of the Badger State. The red spotted purple mimics a swallowtail we won't examine today, the pipevine swallowtail. The purple, our representative of the group called admirals, is smaller than the swallowtails and lacks tails. Its top side is mostly black with some lustrous blue iridescence near the backside. From below, the pattern of reddish and blue splotches decorates a black background. Then we get to one of the most known butterflies in North America, the monarch, a representative of royal queens and soldiers of southern states. Many monarchs have distinctive red coloring matched in Wisconsin only on the mimic viceroy. Others are a strong orange. In flight, monarchs tend to glide between periods of flapping wings as they soar in search of milkweed and nectar sources. Red admirals, like monarchs, fly significant distances to reach Wisconsin, and in some years can be quite difficult to find and in others as common as ATVs. But these visitors are not admirals like the red spotted purple. They are true brushfoots, closely related to the ladies, and they have an infinity for nettles. Envision an incomplete red circle filled with black and sporting black wing tips with white spots. Underneath it looks quite similar to our American lady, and we don't have time to tell the difference today. If you are out butterflying and find a crazed dark form racing around, circling you erratically, it's likely to be a red admiral. American coppers are similar in size to the diminutive blues, but favor a calmer copper coloring on their seldom seen top sides. From below though, this dime-sized insect's hind wing has a base of gray with black flecks and striking orange flames on darker gray at wing's end. The forewing, on top near the head, has a base color of orange fading to gray, once again with larger black spots. Notice the black-white patterning to the antennae. Some butterflies prefer the relative shade offered at forest's edge. Many of these butterflies are in the group satyrs, represented today by the little wood satyr, a drab-colored beast that likes to flit under branches within a few feet of the ground. For learning purposes, you can identify satyrs by their subdued brown and tan coloration 
with patterns of round eyes near the wingtips. The little wood satyr sports two similarly sized spots on the forewing, then a smaller spot and a larger spot on the hind wing. Many butterflies share an orange and black coloration, as does the pearl crescent, a denizen of southern Wisconsin that's very similar and closely related to the northern crescent in northern Wisconsin, as well as the checker spots that are examined in another video. Notice an orange background with dark webbing in the middle of the butterfly's top side with a brownish band along the perimeter of the wings. Along the trailing edge, you'll find a row of brown dots. From underneath, this nickel-sized critter has a light-colored hind wing with rusty patches below a brown-orange forewing. Starting roughly July 4th, we start seeing the spectacularly patterned coral hair streak, our representative of the large family of hair streaks, very fast flyers of a smaller stature. Coral hair streaks, triangular in silhouette, have a gray base color with some black spots and then a vibrant row of orange dots along the back edge of the hindwing. Smaller orange triangles can be seen on the forewing. I only mention the bottom of these buggers because that's all you're likely to see as hair streaks almost always sit with wings folded. Many also have tails, though the coral makes do without. The fritillaries include a wide variety of butterflies, some surviving in the Arctic regions, other more southern climes. We also have larger frits, called the greater, and smaller frits, the lesser. What they have in common is a basic orange-black coloration and patterning, sometimes also with white. The great spangled fritillary, found throughout Wisconsin from June into September, teaches us that colors alone cannot account for identification. The dynamics of coloration are essential. In the case of the great spangled's top side, the region where wings attach to the butterfly's body appears a bit darker than the regions farther out the wings. From below, fritillaries take a trained eye to differentiate, a topic for another video. I've included the eastern-tailed blue in today's list because of its distinct tail appended to the hindwing, a trait missing from our other blue, the spring azure. In smaller butterflies, including several of our hair streaks, the tail serves as a key to identification. The eastern-tailed has orange patches near where the tail protrudes from the main wing. In late summer, eastern-tailed blues can be seen in groups of dozens puddling or collecting minerals and moisture from wet patches. Grass skippers form a huge group of small, often overlooked butterflies, with the four examined silver spotted as a counterexample. Some biologists have argued that skippers are intermediates between butterflies and moths, as their drab coloring is very moth-like, while their anatomy appears similar to butterflies. Our representative of this group is the Dunn Skipper, a tiny guy who, if not quite black, comes pretty darn close, with a somewhat lighter band at mid-body as looked at from below. Skippers usually sit with wings closed, but sometimes can be seen with them open. The Dunn, with open wings, is also very dark, though the female has small light spots. Note that the Dunn, like other skippers, has paddle-shaped ends to the antennae, different than the spherical clubs of other butterflies. That's our examination of 20 species, just a sampling of the more than 160 species that have historically appeared in the Badger State. Some have been extirpated, others continue to live here year-round, while others visit with varied frequency. For further information, please check out Swibba's other videos with more uploaded every month. If you're interested, you can also join NABA and be a butterfly aficionado.